Imagine walking through a dense prehistoric jungle, the air thick with humidity, the sounds of ancient creatures echoing around you, when suddenly you hear something massive slithering through the underbrush. A shadow moves, leaves crunch, you freeze. Now, what if I told you that before Titanoboa ruled the prehistoric world, there was another serpent king, a snake so enormous that it could wrap around an elephant and squeeze the life out of it. Michigantophis, the forgotten titan of the snake world. Before Titanoboa stole the limelight, Gigantophis Garstini was believed to be the largest snake that ever lived, slithering across North Africa and parts of Asia nearly 40 million years ago. And trust me, if you think modern pythons and anacondas are scary, wait till you hear what this monster was capable of. Gigantophis is estimated to have been around 10 to 11 meters long, 35 feet, longer than a London double-decker bus, or about half the size of a bowling lane. A true prehistoric giant, it dominated its ecosystem, ambushing prey with bone-crushing force and striking fear into anything that crossed its path. Now, this is where things get crazy. Unlike Titanoboa, which hunted giant fish in swampy waters, Gigantophis was a land predator, likely ambushing its prey like a modern-day anaconda, hiding in dense foliage or near water bodies. And its favorite meal? Paleomastodons. Early relatives of elephants, imagine an ancient elephant calf wandering too close to the water's edge, and suddenly a 35-foot-long serpent coils around it, crushing it with a force so powerful that even modern crocodiles would be jealous. But Gigantophis wasn't the only monster lurking in the Eocene era. It shared its world with prehistoric crocodiles, massive saber-toothed predators, and even the terrifying Andrusarchus, one of the largest carnivorous land mammals ever. Now, here's a question for you. Could a Gigantophis take down a full-grown Andrusarchus? Imagine a battle between a giant snake and a predator that looked like a mix between a wolf and a rhino. Who do you think would win? Drop your guesses in the comments. For millions of years, Gigantophis ruled its domain, but then, poof, it vanished. What happened? Scientists believe climate change played a major role as Earth's temperatures cooled, rainforests shrank, and once dominant species started to disappear. The rise of mammals also put extra pressure on these ancient reptiles, eventually leading to their downfall. And here's something to blow your mind. Gigantophis was discovered way back in 1901 and held the title of the biggest snake in history for over a century until 2009 when Titanoboa was discovered in Colombia, dethroning Gigantophis as the king of serpents but still, what if a few of these ancient snakes somehow survived in the deep jungles of Africa? Could there still be undiscovered mega serpents lurking somewhere? Who knows? And here's a question for you. If Gigantophis and Titanoboa ever faced off, who would win? The African giant or the South American terror? Let me know in the comments. And if you love prehistoric mysteries and terrifying creatures from the past, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. See you in the next one, if the snakes don't find you first.